tonight from Modesto. A series of strong explosions in Baghdad. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Skinner. Blasts rang out after dark in the Iraqi capital, and a plume of smoke could be seen rising from the U.S. headquarters compound that's known as the Green Zone. You're taking a look at a live picture there. Our crew on the ground there is reporting that some small rockets were fired into the area. Several vehicles were damaged, we're told, but no injuries have been reported at this point. At least one person was hurt in an explosion in southern Afghanistan. It happened when a car blew up near a United Nations office in Kandahar just minutes after the office closed for the day. The force of the blast cracked walls and shattered windows. President Bush has paid tribute to America's fallen heroes on this Veterans Day. The Commander-in-Chief placed a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. President Bush also thanked the troops currently serving our country for their sacrifices and said the prayers of the American people are with them. Looks like the jury for the second serial sniper trial will be seated this week. So far, 17 potential jurors have been picked to hear the murder case against Lee Malvo. The judge is looking for a final pool of 28, and then the prosecutors and defense lawyers each have a bunch of challenges, and that'll reduce the jury to 12 members plus four alternate jurors. And it is moving day for two dozen Bengal tigers. The Look big out. cats had been living in a private sanctuary in New Jersey, but animal welfare workers are transferring them to a Texas animal shelter. They should be in their new home by tomorrow night. And this move caps a four-year court battle between the New Jersey woman who owned the animals and state environmental officials. And those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Time now to send you back to Shep. Hello, Skins. How are you? We've been talking about this Durst verdict. And somebody keeps writing me, explaining to me, and why, in his words, the guy is innocent, not not guilty. We're very careful to use not guilty here because the jury only decided that this man is not guilty of the specific crime of murder in the second degree. Right. That's, that's a far cry from innocent. Well, and you know what's funny is that... No matter what the Constitution says, sir, I mean, the con it's not that you discount the Constitution here, it's just that the... It's just more accurate. The jury is only talking about this one thing. He is not guilty of murder in the second degree. That don't mean he's innocent. That's and you don't hear me call him innocent, not well, also, for a red-hot second. A lot of news organizations use innocent because they're afraid that if they write not guilty, say yep. on a teleprompter or something, that somebody's going to leave off the nod and then it's going to turn out guilty. That's so they... the Associated Press style book. Right. And we go away from that because not guilty and innocent are two different things. Right. So what else? Um, uh, Shepard's looking at okay? my baby pictures. No, no, no. no, 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 no nobody right. wants to see them. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I might like, force him to look at the pictures of my children. She doesn't want the so girls on television. We don't want to put everybody to sleep. Yeah, what else? Uh, no, I was just going to say you're having a big uh, Hillary roundtable coming up. We are. And I was imagining if you're a candidate running for president, one of those Democratic candidates, wouldn't you be so annoyed that this woman who says she's not going to run is getting all the speculation, all the attention? I would probably. Taking it away from you? I probably would be annoyed. And you know another thing? I wouldn't be so, too worried, though, because you know this this group, Hillary.comeonrun.com or whatever it is. Hillary Now. They HillaryNow.com. <laughs> they had their big, uh, they had their big rally down in D.C. And it looked like one family showed up. Yeah, they said actually Major Garrett <laughs> said that the reporters actually outnumbered the participants. And there were only a few reporters there, probably. Yes, it looked like about a, maybe less than a dozen people. Not a lot of people there. She's However, popping around here, though. the guy who runs that website says that they've got a lot of support, a lot of I'm grassroots sure support. I'm sure they do. And you know, those polls, there are polls that say that she does very well, you know, in a hypothetical situation. Beats all wants, the other candidates, hypothetically speaking. Gives you something to talk about, I guess, Certainly does, it? and we'll talk about it in this hour. Very popular junior senator in this, in this state. Yes, she Yes. Among not among everyone, but That's certainly true. among a lot. Bye. Skins, it's good to see you. Tell the girls hello. See you later. Is Al Qaeda operating inside Iraq? For that story, let's get from Studio B. <laughs>